Since the 2021 craze around numerous decentralized apps, dApps, and NFTs, the battle amongst tier ones has been raging. While Ethereum was the dominant engine during the DeFi summer of 2020, new Layer 1 protocols such as Solana emerged in 2021, promising faster transaction speeds at cheaper prices. While both blockchains have their followers and supporters, there are significant distinctions between the two that must be considered. We are going to pick apart the differences between these L1 chains in terms of the mechanism all the way to its programming language. You can be the judge of these chains at the end of the video. Proof of Work POW, is used by both Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's fine for a transactional network like Bitcoin, but Ethereum isn't one of them. Users compete by bidding to get their transaction included in the next block in Ethereum's proof of work consensus, which is based on an auction mechanism. You can imagine the nightmare bidding scenarios this mythology might produce during times of network congestion. Furthermore, Ethereum's exorbitant gas prices might stifle transaction volume. When you combine this with its POW consensus technique, you get a powerful combination. This necessitates mining, which is an energy-intensive process. And that is why, with ETH 2.0, the network will switch to proof-of-stake, POS, ostensibly within a few months. For starters, it consumes less energy. Rather than using specialized hardware, validators for POS consensus must stake a minimum quantity of native tokens in the chain. The amount of ETH validators invest in the network makes it unlikely they will behave against their own best interests. Solana already employs POS and combines it with a novel method known as proof of history, POH. For the time being, keep in mind that Sol and ETH can both be staked on the respective networks. However, Solana's network is very performant thanks to the combination of two consensus processes. Solana wins hands down when it comes to transaction speed. In fact, Solana is one of the quickest blockchains in the game when it comes to transaction processing. This, of course, has something to do with network designs. So while Ethereum valued decentralization, Solana prioritized throughput. Ethereum can currently handle up to 30 transactions per second. When compared to Solana, which can handle over 50,000 transactions per second without crashing. However, bear in mind that this will change with the merge. Ethereum 1.0 can only execute about 13 to 15 transactions per second, making it far from the quickest blockchain. The fundamental difficulty with Ethereum in terms of scalability is that POW verification costs time and energy. To validate the current state of the blockchain, all nodes are necessary to create a consensus. In terms of downtime, Ethereum has the advantage of being an early blockchain with many technical issues hammered out. Despite the fact that the network might become busy at times, it never goes down since it is far more decentralized than other networks. Solana, on the other hand, appears to be going through some growing pains. Since its inception, the chain has had multiple outages. It's worth taking a deeper look at these occurrences. A distributed denial of service, DDoS attack, appears to have caused all of the outages. When a malevolent actor accesses a network with the intent of overloading it, this is known as a DDoS attack. In two of the incidents, the attacker appeared to have targeted the network specifically. The end result? Solana was stopped down for many hours, putting our investors' trust in jeopardy. Rust C and C++ are the most common programming languages used on Solana. Solidity, on the other hand, is the Ethereum blockchain's primary programming language. In a nutshell, here's how Solidity compares to Rust. To begin with, Ethereum is the most widely used blockchain for DeFi and NFTs. Many DeFi apps were initially developed on Ethereum, and other L1 blockchains have desired to follow in Ethereum's footsteps by allowing developers to easily move over their Solidity-based smart contracts. Solidity is a good place to start if you want to study a smart contract language. If you are familiar with web languages like JavaScript, Solidity will help you get up and running quickly. 
Rust, however, is not only a smart contract language. Many off-chain applications, notably financial, employ Rust. There are more Rust developers than Solidity developers in the globe. Rust is becoming increasingly popular. It's now being used by new L1 chains that have lately garnered a lot of traction. Near and Terra are two further instances, in addition to Solana. Keep in mind, though, that learning Rust will take longer because you will need to learn the Rust syntax first. Even though Solana is already lightning fast, it is occasionally afflicted by network outages. Ethereum, on the other hand, has been chugging away for a while, but it's beginning to show signs of wear and tear. However, all eyes are on the merge and its ability to modernize and grow. Despite this, the war of L1 chains continues. What are your thoughts on this battle? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. See ya!